Hello beautiful creatures, how are you all doing? So in today's video, what I have for you are these uh, Kiko Milano Wonder Woman makeup products. So I have here a variation of um, foundation. Um, they also have the lip gloss and the uh, lip paint. So today I will be showing you what I have purchased. Yes, what I purchased myself in Kiko. Um, it's not going well with me. I have been spending so much money um, in terms of makeup, but uh, I hope that I can share some um, tips for you guys uh, before you buy it uh, yourself. Now, um, I would like to review the very first product, which is their um, Kiko Milano Wonder Woman uh, Born to Last Foundation 24 Hours. Now, I have the shade um, number six, so this is uh, Caramel and uh, this is how it looks like when you open it so this is their line um, wonder woman i'm a bit late on this one i know but i would like to do the review anyway because um, currently uh, if you go to the kiko stores nearby um, they are actually on sale so if you are still considering getting these products i think that my video is just uh, right on time now, so this is how it looks like inside, you guys. Um, this is their uh, foundation. This is the Born to Last Foundation 24 Hours. And like I said, I have the shade number six, Caramel. Now, it looks really nice. It really mimics the uh, sort of the costume of the uh, Wonder Woman. And uh, yeah, it has this really nice uh, shiny red as a lid. And this is how it looks like. It's a pump. So that's good. And uh, the color is... I tried this already. The color is perfect, you guys. Um, it's slightly darker, but when I apply it, it's actually not that bad. So, so just to show you how it looks like on my skin, I'm going to apply this uh, firstly on my right side. I'm going to use the uh, Beauty Sponge. This is from uh, Real Techniques. Um, so I'm just going to apply this so you can see the effect. Thereafter, I will render my review. So I don't have anything on my face right now, just a little bit of balm, lip balm. And um, yeah, so that you can really see the difference from left to right in terms of the coverage of the foundation. Now, what I notice about this foundation, you guys, um, you really need a lot of product to actually achieve a full coverage on your face. So I'm using this beauty sponge and I already had a very nice um, dollop on my uh, uh, on my um, hand and still it's not enough um, I find that I still need to pump more product to actually uh, cover my whole face and this is just half at the moment so you need quite a lot of product all right so that's the foundation done you guys I have applied the foundation on my right side of my face as you can see um, it is actually slightly darker than on my left side and i've also tried to apply it as a full coverage as i can and uh, this is how it looks like so you can see that it's rather refined compared to my left side um and uh, yeah i am actually quite tired today didn't really sleep much so i wanted to boost my uh, my glow if you want uh, to have this fresher look um, today so hopefully the foundation will achieve that but this is how it looks like on the skin um, right off the bat it feels really light so that i will say this foundation it feels really light on the skin you guys it's it feels as if you're not wearing anything so it's really light although you can really see that you are indeed wearing something it makes it really nice and fine but it feels nothing um so this is their born to last foundation 24 hours please bear my um nail polish i didn't have time to uh <laughs> reapply so uh you know it can happen to everyone um but in any event um back to the foundation it feels light so what i'm going to do now i'm going to um, apply this all over my face so you can see um, how it evolves uh, throughout the video like i said um you really need a lot of product to apply it you guys so right now i have this much actually i already took some of it and it's really not appearing uh, as a full coverage if you like so i think if you just uh, want to achieve a uh, you know light coverage and just 
a really fresher look then you can go for a lighter touch but i wanted to achieve a full coverage today because they say it is um, born to last foundation um so i wanted it to have this thick coverage on my face today and also like i said um, mama is not looking so good today um, so exhausted you guys so many things but staying positive okay so after the foundation guys i will just apply a light makeup and uh, then we will talk about the rest of the products all right you guys so i have applied some uh, eye makeup and uh, just a concluding remark regarding this foundation um, wonder woman born to last foundation 24 hours um, like I said, it's very light on the skin. Um, the color caramel or shade number six is, uh, I think, perfect for my um, skin color because I do not necessarily like to have uh, paler than this. Um, I think it blends well. Um, one thing I notice, it does not oxidize on me. Um, I actually tried this for two days already and uh, what I notice is that it uh, gives you a really nice refined finish. Um, so it is matte, it dries out matte. However, um, I do not necessarily think that it is super matte um, that it dries out your skin. So it's not that foundation. It feels light to the skin and it is uh, actually, um, it, pro it provides a great coverage. I would not consider it as a super full coverage. Um, and it's also not something that would cover your blemishes, but it's good for a daily use if you just want to refresh your face a tiny bit or um, all over your face now um what i think about it uh there is no there's no scent to it which is really good uh the only thing that i noticed with this one as uh, when i was wearing it for two days um uh, i always tend to get oily in the t-zone area so my skin is a combination so oily and dry um depending on the season of course but uh, when I tried it two days ago, it was really uh, something that I noticed that uh, this area here tends to get oily. So it's something that will not prevent you from um, getting oily if you apply this one. So something that uh, maybe to bear in mind to bring a powder with you if you would uh, like to use this. Another point is that I also try this with uh, a camera with a flash. Um, and this one really looks great in a normal camera so it will not create a white cask that you look like a ghost um, beside your friends it's not gonna give you that however when i use my selfie camera it was a different story so it looks it really looks like you are wearing a foundation but not nothing alarming not that bad um so all in all i would probably reach out to this uh from time to time because i actually purchased two so i have the uh, paler um skin tone so this is the number one the lightest one this is the ivory um i would uh use this one for under my eyes because sometimes i'm uh uh, reluctant to use really heavy concealer because it cakes um, under my eyes uh, most of the time so I would use this one for under eyes and it uh, just uh, right now I'm using it so it just gives this uh, light um, brightness under your eyes you know just to eliminate the tiredness and uh, um, exhaustion like I have um, uh, so so you know um, so why I'm exhausted, you guys, it's a different story. I don't know if I have mentioned that already in my channel, but I am um, a lecturer aside from uh, uh, making this video. So I will tell you all about it next time. But coming back to the foundation, um, it has some cons and it has uh, also some benefits, advantages to this one. Um, it's worth the price, I have to say. Uh, it's a great foundation. Um, you will probably need a lot of product when you use it but all in all um for how much is this 14 euros um and right now they are on sale three plus three so it's um a good sale so uh check it out and try it yourself because it really at the end of the day it depends on how your skin reacts to it and how and the type of skin that you have so in mine um i do enjoy this one not necessarily super long lasting i find because this one over here gets oily like i said but uh, overall it uh, gives you a really nice finish after the application now moving forward um i have here the uh wonder woman 
metal power lasting lip paint so i have the number three and the number six now this one i find they're incredible you guys so i'm gonna quickly show you let's start with the number three i didn't put anything on my lips yet so that we can try this one on so this one um is the number three uh wonder woman metal power lasting lip paint so this is how it looks like it has a fancy packaging you guys look at that there is the logo, the logo of um, Wonder Woman. Um, so there goes the shade, you guys. This is number three, and it is uh, Rosetto. The color is called Rosetto uh, Lip Color Number Three. So just quickly um, swatch this for you. So it has this um, lip applicator, and this is how it swatches. And I have here the second one, number six, and this is how um, it looks like. This is a beautiful plum color, you guys, and this is number six. Actually, <laughs> the Rosetto is not the shade, so they actually just uh, come with numbers. So number three is the first one, and this is number six. Number six swatches this way. Um, the same applicator, and it swatches so beautiful. Just one application, you guys. Look. It is nice plum, but one thing uh, with these ones, they have, uh, because they are called metallic, so they are um, flash, flash of light, no, uh, metal powder, no, sorry, metal power lasting lip paint. So they are actually very metallic. Um, I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but when it dries out, it actually has this really metallic effect. So I'm going to give the plum a try. I'm going to apply this on my incredibly dry lips at the moment and see if uh, I will suffer from it. All right, you guys, so this is how it looks like on my lips. This is the number six from Wonder Woman Metal Power Lasting Paint. I find this so beautiful you guys I really like this shade and it fits with my makeup look at the moment um so I have also tried this one for two days straight now these uh, two shades that I have and uh, this one is also really nice huh? the light one um I find that you can wear this as well on a daily basis um if you like metallic sh um, with sheen and type of lippy now it really dries out matte um you have to wait a little bit when you apply it then it dries out matte it really reminds me um how the sephora lip stain applies on the lips and these are oh these are amazing you guys um, um it is long lasting it feels really light on the lips and to be honest with you it does not uh, dry out my lips i was i had really dry lips uh, before applying this i didn't scrub i didn't put any lip balm on and Right now, it feels like I'm not wearing anything at all. It feels very light and uh, the, the, the color is so opaque. It's lovely, good quality. I can't, I can't praise this enough. I would probably go back and get some more of uh, their shades because they also have uh, nudes of this one. And um, this was, I think, the darkest uh, or maybe they have a red one as well. But there are more shades than these two and I... I can say that the uh, formula, the texture, the way it feels on the lips is just so comfortable. Um, it will, like I said, it will dry out matte. So it will not necessarily feel like a lip balm that will hydrate your lips, but it will also not um, dry it that, uh, you know, to the point that it will cling to the cracks and to the uh, dryness of your lips. It actually looks like it's just my normal lips. So I'm actually very happy with this purchase and I will wear this. You know what? Also a really uh, good observation of mine through the years. Uh, metallic lipsticks looks really beautiful on the photo. So it's really um, something that would stand out, you guys. If you would wear this, uh, if you would wear this, not, not necessarily a full application, sometimes 
sometimes even if you would just put it in the center of the lip as a highlighter it's so beautiful so this one is definitely uh, highly recommended you guys so i love these next i also have a lip gloss so i only got one um wonder woman flash of light lip gloss it's called and uh, so i only got the number one shade and this is how it looks like inside so the lip gloss that i have is number one and it's called fine brown and let me just quickly swatch this so this is the lip gloss you guys now um, I've also tried the lip gloss. Now listen, uh, this one here, when I actually applied it on my lips, it is not the type of gloss that is thin. It is actually really thick and the product that you get is very, very tiny. Look, um, it is really thick, the consistency of it look at that it's not watery so you don't this one will not give you i mean look it will not drop a single thing from it but um when i applied it at first it really emphasized the dryness of my lips you guys so it's not necessarily hydrating and the shade is beautiful it's very light but like i said if you like a gloss that really is shiny as if you just ate a uh, lechon or uh, anything um, fatty um this will not give you it however it will of course give you a bit of shine and a bit of um shade to it so for me i'm probably not gonna pick this up maybe i'll i'll try it again but this is not for me uh one of the top lip glosses that i've tried um but look at the shade and similarly with the uh, lip paint they also have different shades of this one for the lip glosses so um not even gonna apply this on top of this because this in itself is already comfortable to me um so i'm just not gonna ruin it by applying with this one um last product you guys i have here the wonder woman starlight um blush so this is how it looks like i have the number two it's called charming rose and the packaging looks like this so it's really wonderfully done actually um very nice red with nice glittery metal metal effect to it um kiko milano and this is their um starlight blush charming rose look at that now this is um a blush however um if you really touch it and if i would swatch it in my arm um i don't i don't really get that much color to it so maybe if you have a lighter skin tone this is how it looks like it's very very mild i mean very light in terms of the pinkness so i wouldn't necessarily get a blush from this but instead i'm getting a lot of highlight because it's very um yeah yeah how do i say that very uh shiny look so this for me would look like um you know ashy if i would use this as a blush but i would uh, what i would do i would actually uh apply this as a highlighter because sometimes in the, during the daytime i really like a subtle pink highlighter and this one is really really nice in terms of its uh color look it has a bit of um, baby pink to it but also goldy type of um, um, shimmer to it so i think it would be beautiful if you can just put it as a highlight um, a subtle highlight during the day so uh, this one for me will probably be not a blush on but will be a uh, um, highlighter so they also have other two so there's only three um shades of this one so i would uh, recommend this um if you like highlighter i wouldn't necessarily consider this as a blush but if you like i said if you have a lighter skin tone you can use this as a blush uh, with a bit of shimmer though so it's not matte um all right guys so i think that's it for today's product i do enjoy the shopping of uh, superwoman because like i said it is on sale at the moment so maybe this video will help you um, realize if you need uh, to go to your uh, closest uh, kiko store um, so yeah i think that's uh, that's it for today and i would like to thank you for watching this video um, if you like my video please uh, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and uh, do subscribe i would highly appreciate it um, then uh, that will also motivate me to uh, make more videos. All right, guys, um, be kind to each other and always remember that you are beautiful. Bye, guys.